Hello everybody. So this time we are heading out of Dublin and doing the Giants Causeway. This tour was interesting. Now, if you see my last video, we had gone out to the Cliffs of Maher and Galloway with Wild Rover Tours. This time we did the Giants Causeway with Paddy Wagon Tours. And the reason we did this one is because of one extra stop that I really, really wanted to see. So this tour starts at 7 a.m. in Dublin and you will leave Dublin to head north. Now I will prepare you for this. It is actually going into Northern Ireland, which is a different country. No, you do not need your passports or anything like that, but you will need to bring pounds with you. Yes, Northern Ireland is actually part of the UK. So you will go from euros to pounds. Now, if it wasn't for our guide, I'll be honest with you, we didn't even know, you wouldn't even know crossing into Northern Ireland. In 1998, Good Friday, the checkpoints were actually removed. And now if you blink, you will miss the sign noting that you are now in Northern Ireland. So our first stop on this tour was Dunsley Castle. Now for the Game of Thrones fans out there, this was actually one of the filming spots for the show. And I have to admit, I think I had seen the first two or three episodes of the Game of Thrones and I haven't watched it since. Now I know it's over. So I'm going to ask you if you think it's worth me watching the Game of Thrones. I'll be honest with you, the places that we visited where filming was taking place for this show were stunning. So. I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet and watch it. So Dunsley Castle was actually built in the late Middle Ages and the 17th century. It was perched on a cliff along this stunning and absolutely beautiful coastline. So we finished up at the castle and made our way back onto the bus to head to Giant's Causeway. So before we get started, there are actually a few things that you need to know before visiting. It is super windy. <laughs> this is also Ireland, so it's probably going to rain, which it did the day that we were there. There are three trails. This is so important. So please, if you are doing a tour, please be aware that some of these trails are quite long and you will not have enough time to do the entire thing. So the green trail is actually a viewpoint. This is an easy trail. It's very light. The blue one is a walk downhill and this will actually take you to the columns where the causeway is. You will have to walk uphill coming back, but there are buses, which are the shuttles, that you can take for one euro each way. The red one is the cliffside trail. 
which runs along the top and then you come down on the other side of the causeway. So here's my advice. If you are limited on time, I suggest doing either the green viewpoint or the blue trail. The reason being is if you do the red, because you're silly like me and didn't fully read the sign, it is, it is really long. It's not easy to find the actual trail that comes down behind the causeway. And you're going to be rushing through the entire thing. So I highly suggest if you are crunched for time, just stick with the blue one. This is one of those places where you definitely want to just take it all in. It is absolutely stunning. And this was so similar to the black sand beach that we had visited in Iceland a couple of years ago. So our next stop is this cute little town of Balantoy. And I just really like this little seaside town. Now, this is where you are going, you can get lunch. And with the lunch, it is an option, I think of two or three things that you can choose from and you will be having lunch at Fullerton Arms. So back to our Game of Thrones fans. Balintoy was used as a filming location for the show. It also has the door from season six, episode six, which was built from the trees from our next stop was the reason why I went <laughs> with this tour group. And that's the Dark Hedges. Now, I didn't go here because of the Game of Thrones. I went here because I, aside from churches, love trees. And anytime that I come into a covered road um, lined with trees, I just absolutely love it. And these trees are amazing. Now, this is only a quick stop. So you're only going to get about 15 to 20 minutes. It is one of those stops where you need to quickly run over, take your pictures and make your way back. It's not far from where the bus stops to the entrance, but do be warned, it does get crowded here. So if you are in the area and actually staying in the area, I would suggest coming here really early or really late in the afternoon to avoid the crowds. The final stop was Belfast. There are a couple things you can do with the tour. You can book the black cab tour, or you can just do a self-guided walk around the city. Here are a couple of things that you can see if you decide to do a self-guided walk. The Albert Memorial clock, the big fish, Just taking a walk around the shopping district or grab a bite to eat or beer or like us, grab a coffee and wander the grounds of City Hall. Because of course, you can't leave Belfast without taking a picture with the Belfast sign. Now, I will say this. If you are into politics or history, I would highly suggest doing the Black Cab Tour. This is something to experience because I really do love history. I'm not so big in the politics, but I absolutely love history. And this is something that is actually not going to be around for much longer. The reason being is that you're going to learn from those who actually experienced the turbulent and bloody history of Belfast. So like I said, is something that's not going to be around for a long time because unfortunately those who experienced it eventually will move on. So after about 45 minutes to an hour, we were back on the bus and making our way back to Dublin. Now I will say, I definitely want to come back to Northern Ireland to truly experience Northern Ireland. There is so much beauty that I kind of regret not spending some more time here. Unfortunately, we only got to spend a week in Ireland. So that brings me to the next video, which is going to be how to spend one week in Ireland visiting the North, 
the south, the east, and the west, and how to plan that journey. I just want to say thank you everyone for your support. If you haven't already and you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to see any of my future videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell. And of course, if you think anyone's going to benefit from this video, don't forget to share. Thanks everyone. Bye.